Welcome to our few minutes on the Parsha. This Shabbos, we're going to be reading Parsha Shlach, Shabbos Mavarchim, which begins to tell us Klai Yisrael is about to enter into the land of Israel, and they make a request to send out spies, and Hashem says, Shlach Lecha Anoshim, send the spies out for your benefit. As far as I'm concerned, you don't have to send them. And they chose the spies, and they begin to send them out, and they're given instructions of exactly how to report is the land a good land, does it produce well, and so on. The Maraglim come back, and they basically say the truth. They, as the Ramban points out, they reported and said exactly what they were told to say. Is it a good land? Yes. They said it's a good land. And they said, Banu El Ho We came to the land you sent it to, uh, us to, Vigamzavas Khalovadvashi, Vizepirya. And it's a land flowing with milk and honey, and here is the fruit. Now that sounds like a great report. And so far, they've done exactly what their mission was. The Ramban says, but the next word is the word that negates the entire thing. The Ramban said that when they said next, F.S. Ki az ha'am, and the word F.S. here, the word F.S. normally means nothing. Here it means sort of, nevertheless, all the good is negated by the following. And they then go on to say that we will not be able to conquer. Kalev and Yoshua, on the other hand, they say, Olona Aleh we're definitely going to be able to be victorious. What is encapsulated in the negation when they said the word Ephes? Perhaps we can extend the Ramban a little bit in the following fashion. There are so many things in life that are so good, and yet some people focus only on that which is lacking. And they say, FS. The whole thing is worth nothing. You know, when we read about Haman in the Megillah, and he had everything. The whole nation was bowing down to him. The king made him second in command. You know what bothered him? There was one Jew who wouldn't bow down. That was the FS for him. Oh, that one is what bothers me. And everything else is not shova, is not worth anything for me. That's the negation of Ephes. Most things in life are really good. Most things in life are really terrific. The overwhelming majority of things that we have in life, most often we have our health. Most often we have a roof over our heads. Most often we have what to eat. Things are really good most often. Yes, there are times it's not good. But that does not negate all the good. And the Maraglam's sin was in making everything into nothing despite all the good. They came back and they said it was a land flowing with milk and honey. Didn't mean anything to them. Didn't mean anything good. In the land of Israel, there are so many good things about it. And yet, you'll hear people negate anything about the land just because there are some things that are not so good. One thing even, if it's not so good. And we have a tendency to blow it up and to make it much worse than it is. And unfortunately, that's exactly what the Miraglim did. And we're being taught not to do what the Miraglim did. Not to negate, but rather to emphasize all the positives and to look at all the positives and recognize that one negative, or even if it's a big negative, does not negate all the positives that we have in life. If we can do that, and even though now we are beginning to make a birchas hachodesh, when bevarchem hachodesh tamuz, and in the month of tamuz, of course, begins the period of the three weeks, and we do have a mourning period, and there is a tishabov at the end of it, only one day a year. And even if it's only three weeks a year, 
the overwhelming majority of the year is positive, the overwhelming majority of things are good, we shouldn't say FS like the Miraglim said. Let's emphasize all the good and not negate that which we have accomplished, that which we are being given, and that which with which we live. Have a wonderful Shabbos.